President Trump is threatening and taking several big steps to deal with what he calls an immigration crisis at the border. Democrats in Congress vowing to fight it. NBC 10's D.C. correspondent Drew Pretzmo joining us from Washington. Drew, what can you tell us about the aid cuts to three Central American countries and the impact of this? Yeah, these are three countries in the north, what's known as the Northern Triangle of Central America, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Um, these are uh, three countries, some of the main countries where migrants have been coming up um, from the south and trying to either seek asylum or find other ways to get into the United States. The president says they're not doing enough to stop the flow of uh, the governments are not doing enough to stop the flow of people from their country that are eventually showing up at the southern U.S. border. Um, what other people argue is that this move is counterproductive because the reason why a lot of people from those countries are leaving is because of uh, poor economic opportunity and high levels of violence. And what this aid money does a lot of times is, is go to organizations that are on the ground in those countries that are trying to deal with the very problems that are causing people to leave. But the president's argument is that this aid is not helping and essentially it's a waste of money if these migrants keep coming north. The president's also made it no secret that he wants to repeal and replace Obamacare with what he hadn't said, but how is he involving the courts in this fight against the Affordable Care Act? Well, basically, there was this lawsuit that a federal judge in Texas ruled on, and he said that the Affordable Care Act was unconstitutional. Now, that was seen as a highly controversial decision. That case is currently on appeal. But basically, what the Trump administration through the Justice Department is saying that it's going to side with the judge in that argument that the whole Affordable Care Act is unconstitutional and, be th and should be thrown out. Now, the, uh, President Trump, he said the Re Republicans are going to become the party of health care and that they're going to have some grand plan to put in place if that is in fact struck down. But you remember during the last Congress, the Republicans tried to repeal and place and replace the Affordable Care Act. Even when they controlled both houses of Congress, they couldn't get that done. Now they only control the Senate. Republicans, uh, Democrats, of course, control the House. And there are major questions about what piece of legislation could actually get passed. Um, Senator Cassidy from Louisiana, along with uh, two other senators, have been kind of tasked with coming forward with some sort of a plan. But there are a lot of questions about exactly what that plan would entail. And finally and quickly, what are the Democrats' options for being able to get a complete version of the Mueller report? What are they doing toward that and independently of that? Well, uh, William Barr, the attorney general, said that he was going to supply a redacted report uh, by the end of this month. But Democrats, well, they want to see the full, uh, they want to see the entire report. There are certain sections of it that has to do with grand jury testimony and things that have to do with intelligence that the attorney general has said that he's working with Robert Mueller to redact. Democrats have uh, threatened to subpoena and, in fact, said this week they will issue one demanding the entire report, including grand jury testimony, so they can see for themselves themselves what's exactly in it. It's said to be almost 400 pages. No April Fool, then we definitely have a full plate going into April. Drew, as always, thank you for your big picture perspective on all this. Thanks for having me.